Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Microsoft Surface Pro 2, a quick review. It is, in a sense, a laptop. As you see, there is a detachable keyboard here, which enables you to use it uh, just like a laptop. But it's also obviously a standard tablet, albeit wider than it is tall. And differing from the iPad in that it has this very convenient old style USB port here so all of your old school peripherals can be attached. Great stuff. It has learnt from Apple by including this wonderful uh, magnetic easy on easy off power cord. Uh, it's fully charged so I'll take that off and quite excitingly a stylus. Press at the top, switch it on and you get immediately access to your uh, starting point. I'm going to quickly put in my password. So you use your uh, Microsoft password to get access to all of the goodies that are kept in the cloud, for example. And that is the way that uh, this particular device uh, gives you access to all of your files. Uh, and it's the starting point for uh, all of your stored stuff. SkyDrive. Uh, you'll be familiar with SkyDrive perhaps if you used it before. It has a, two views. One is the stuff that is up there in the cloud. Uh, so you've got a whole bunch of standard style office documents up there, pictures, uh, you name it. Uh, but it also has a view called this PC, which is a bit more like the traditional Windows Explorer view. And through that you can get access to your C drive and uh, program files, so on and so forth, uh, kind of stuff that you are probably familiar with, uh, but in a different, certainly in a different environment to the old school Windows Explorer. The Microsoft icon there always takes you back to that start place, which is a very convenient starting point. Um, we also have here, I guess it's worth pointing out, a bunch of pre-installed Windows 8 style uh, applications. There's a really cool weather one here, which I love. Being a Brit, we do like to talk about our weather. It gives you historic uh, versions of what this month's temperatures have been. You've got uh, your calendar, you've got your people hub, which gives you access to all the people you know well, your friends, colleagues, contacts, and folk like the Dalai Lama. Uh, this also helps you demo a really useful little feature, which is the split screen where you can simultaneously look at two things. And uh, there we go. Uh, what else? We have got, as I said, an uh, old school version of this. Uh, if you want to go back into the familiar environment of Windows, you click on desktop, which is great for people who are uh, still trying to get their heads around Windows 8. Um, and standard, you know, you've got the gutter at the bottom which shows you what programs are open. However, it doesn't show you all of the open programs. For example, if you have OneNote open, you don't see it there. I'll show you OneNote in a second. Uh, the other complexity to this, which is a little bit uh, annoying, a little bit jarring, is that you've got Internet Explorer, which will be open in two different, uh, two different views. This is the Windows 8 view uh, of Windows Explorer, where you can uh, open up new um, uh, uh, new um, screens, new tabs to look at uh, stuff and uh, just as you used to but at the same time uh, there is another version of it open up in uh, here in your old school uh, Windows view which uh, makes things pretty complex to navigate at times. Um, what else can I tell you? You have got uh, standard apps that come optimized for Windows, that's Facebook and the like, which you can download from the Windows Store. And you have got uh, neat pre installed things like Bing News there, uh, which has got a bunch of really good news uh, sources aggregated into one place. Uh, there you go, folks like Nature, The Times, Reuters. BBC, great, uh, great media properties. Uh, what can I demo to you now? OneNote. This kind of works, shows this off to best effect. 
Uh, OneNote is a uh, package that allows you to simultaneously, if you wish, uh, type and it also allows you to write freestyle and th with this little uh, wheel based uh, menu here you can change the thickness of the stylus and the color so emphasizing something if you want during your note taking very useful if you're listening to a talk at a conference or lectures or what have you um, you can also uh, type in stuff direct here uh, if you want uh, and it gives you a bunch of different functions using a different menu here like tag so you can set up checklist uh, of things to do so you've got three things to do called one two and three create a checklist and then you can obviously uh, when you do them just tap them and they're done so that's one note and again these are one note is um is kept in the cloud uh, you once you save it it goes up into your uh, your cloud uh storage environment that's kind of uh most of what i want to tell you today uh, if there's anything that you're particularly interested in me going into in more detail please do drop a note at the bottom and i'll try to get back to you but uh, thanks for watching and uh, good luck Microsoft and good luck users of Surface Pro 2. Uh, it can only get better from here.